hey guys welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to create a channel and we are also going to join the channel through order as well as the PA nodes that we have in our system so before jumping into the implementation if you are enjoying these videos and liking the content then please consider subscribing and liking the videos so before creating the channel I would again like to create the connection profile and this time I am creating the connection profile again because last time we created the order and uh, before that uh, our connection profile was not having the order details as well so now this time if I create this connection profile my order details should be inside the connection profile so if I open my VS code here so this is the connection profile that currently we have and if I shrink this uh, we don't have any order deals in this you can see that we have only both peer organization we don't have any order organization and in the in the order section it is null currently so now uh, let me hit enter and this is going to create the connection profile containing the order as well so it will contain the details of all these three organization okay i got some timed out error let me just again Yeah, so this time it was successful and you can see that we have the order MSP section here and we have one ordering node as well. So if I just collapse this, we can see that we have the ordering node uh, and their certificate as well, the TLS certificate. So now uh, we can simply create the channel. So let me clear up this and the channel that I want to create is the my channel. So I will call it as my channel. So this is the command to create the channel and basically um, the command is kubectl hlf create uh, hlf channel generate and here I am specifying the output of this uh, block like the output name of the channel block the name of the channel and after that this is the organization flag so by this flag we are specifying that which organization do I want to keep the part of channel so I am currently keeping org1 MSP and org2 MSP and then I can specify the order organization. So right now we have only one order organization that is order MSP. So let me hit enter and this will create one uh, file as well uh, mychannel.block file and the channel as well. So here we can see uh, that it was successful and if I show you in the VS code as well we have one mychannel.block as well. So now we can simply join the order to this channel. So the order is going to join this channel through channel participation API. Let me put the command here. So here this is the command uh, that is uh, that is going to make the order join the channel. And uh, the block file is this one that is present inside the current directory. This is the name of our order which is going to join this channel. And this is the namespace and this is the order uh, TLS identity so remember in the last video we when we create the order we also create the TLS cert, uh, TLS enrollment and uh, signing enrollment as well so right now we are leveraging the TLS enrollment uh, to join the channel so let me hit enter yeah so we can see that the status code is 201 and it is successful So now let's join the other organizations as well to this channel. So let me just clear up this. Let me put the command and this time uh, our peer which is org1 hyphen peer1 and after that this is the name of this is the namespace. So this is going to join this channel right now and it is leveraging this network config.yml file which is our connection profile and then the channel name is my channel let's hit enter okay it says user not found so let me just verify the connection profile
So what happened that uh, when we again generated this network config file at the time uh, that file was regenerated and our older uh, stuff that we added the users they were removed now so we can just quickly go and add those users to this uh, network config file so let me put up the command quickly and this is going to add uh, the users to network config let's check that so this is the network config and if i just shrink it directly go to the organizations level so here you can see inside this org on msp now we have a user which is the admin user and similarly inside this org to msp as well we have one user which is admin so now let me just clear up this and let's again uh, join the channel for uh, for this peer which is peer 0 of org 1 let me hit enter let me try to run it again yeah so it has joined the channel so now we can make the other peers to join this channel as well so this time org1 peer2 is going to join the channel So it has also joined the channel. Now let's make the org2 peer1 to join the channel. This is org2 peer1. This part. Yeah, now let's make the org2 peer2 to join the channel. So now uh, all the four peers has joined the channel. Now we can go to the lens ID and see the you know peer logs as well. So let me open my lens ID here. And here, let me just close this. Let's check the logs of any of the one peer. So here we can see that it created a ledger with uh, my channel and now uh, and also it joined the um, channel as well my channel similarly we can see the logs of other peer as well so if we try to see the logs of this one which is org1 peer2 we should be able to see the same information here as well that it create the ledger and then it joined the uh, channel as well so that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like this video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.